I am for the third time now at the eruption site after it being closed for six days. It opened up uh, yesterday again and will be open until five uh, today in the afternoon. Uh, so because uh, it's supposed to be foggy, this time I'm going to cycle to the eruption site, which will obviously take less time than to hike. Um, I want to start this vlog by kindly asking you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me a lot uh, and motivates me to create more content. But uh, anyway, let's go. So, time to start cycling. So many people here. Which I completely understand. It's very nice to cycle this way. Mostly gravel road like this. So you will be faster than hiking. And the weather is also great, which doesn't hurt. As you can see, they have closed off this area. And this is actually where I hiked last time. You can see the crater over there. Uh, but uh, back then, when I went uh, about one week ago, all the moss here was not burned. You can see how much has burned. Still there. And I know the firemen are trying to put this fire down. They have been partly successful, but a lot of work still going on. But uh, I guess I need to fly my drone from here or try to walk this direction to get a little bit closer to the crater. You saw in my drone video that uh, the lava field has spread out very far to the south. Actually, uh, just behind this mountain here, it has reached from the crater and down all the way connecting to the old lava field from uh, last year. So it has spread it quite a massive distance in uh, this short amount of time. And uh, as you saw also in my first clip, uh, there is still a lot of uh, fires. So the uh, firefighters are working on that. But we're gonna head uh, over there and see the lava field, since uh, this area here is obviously closed. You see how far the lava field has reached from the crater. And they even have put up signs here. quite well organized and there is actually a need for that because there are some people here that just uh, act stupid so that's why they have so many uh, search and rescue people here and police that's how it is this guy is uh, stopping people from going too close I think I think it's still possible to go on top of uh, Little Rutter, which is over there. That must be the best view you can get right now.
a little bit too close. Uh, yeah. Luckily, I have a DJI Care on this drone, so I can get it replaced. Yeah, that's what you get for taking risky shots. A second drone that I melt in my third visit. Not good. Well, I hope the shots are good. So, I'm not gonna take any more risky shots. Uh, we're gonna head back. This is how it looks like, again. And this is the way back. Like I say, next time I'm gonna go on top of Litlihrúdur. Over there. I think the, this is not the best place anymore. I hope Little Router will be open, uh, but we'll see. We are back to the car after cycling to and from the volcano. It took us about an hour to cycle to the volcano. It's a little bit uphill and we had the wind against us, but we were actually in no rush. So it's doable in less time than that. On the way back, it took us slightly more um, uh, than half an hour, I would guess, to uh, cycle back to the car because most of it uh, was downhill and we had the wind in the back. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe and see you next time.